Hi, in this video we're looking at the cost of the Divergent CRM and other software updates. To begin with, we, we should really start here. The asset value of Cape Town Luxury Villas website and supporting systems, you can find it in the index here under section 2 of the business plan or following the navigation capetownluxuryvillas.com asset value okay um, very quickly we look at the cost of this website which started as this website this website was completely remade and created into this website and this blog tells a story in a number of videos the bottom line is there's a lot of stuff in there that, uh, that works and uh, the asset value we're putting I think it's about $189,000 okay from this video one needs to sorry from this page we need to look at magic keywords which is here system software magic keywords and this tells of the software that's already installed within Cape Town Luxury Villas that provides 25% of the booking requests and is a great basis for SEO to, um, to, to, to build upon because at the moment there are no links and there's no local SEO. Okay, this page, Villa Secrets jQuery Mobile, we'll find it here under the system software tells of the Villa Secrets dedicated jQuery mobile app. Uh, we can see here what it's going to do. We're going to start with the logo, then present the top 10 villas, and then the top 10 villas go through. We've got a location search and collections and a link to the Villa Secrets magazine. Uh, currently, if we look on the left, this is what we've got. On the right is where we're going, and that's we're about 25% of the way there. It's, um, various things on the navigation okay after magic uh, Villa secrets jQuery mobile website we look at uh, magic menus this is uh, quite a complex software system that we're building to organize all the villas in a good way uh, we've had big problems with both Cape Villas and Cape Town luxury villas where the agents will put the villas up but they don't really care about the ordering um, this system automatically makes the ordering. It does things cleverly, like creates an XML sitemap, and all new content has an high, higher XML um, priority than low content, than duplicate content, sorry. Um, and it also is uh, attached to Google Analytics and Moz. So if someone links to our pages, that'll go higher in the menu. If a client looks at a lot of pages, that'll go higher in the menu. The menu really is moving around all the time. Okay, from there, we get to the Divergent CRM. And this is quite a long article. Um, with the previous ones, there's sort of half hour, I think there's a half hour video on magic keywords. I think there's an hour long video on magic menus the divergent crm we're covering all these points original plans as mentioned inquiry systems crm email marketing clients and owners content management suites booking systems financial systems marketing platform content marketing analytics sienna bot hospitality systems live chat experience africa safari systems financial predictions and tutorials this is told Quickly, well, as quick as you can in half an hour in this first video. There are other videos about the individual parts. And this is what the uh, exercise of what this video is about. We are now putting a price on how much it's going to cost us to make this. In terms of hours. Okay, once one has at least watched this video here, the introduction to the CRM. One must watch that before really going this stage further. We get back to the Cape Town Luxury Villas business plan and the strategic growth plan for Cape Town Luxury Villas. In particular, future business, section two. 
and this video here Cape Town Luxury Villa Strategic Growth Plan now we're going to go to the spreadsheet okay this is the original spreadsheet that uh, that last video looks at and we looked at all the different things that would make a difference let's have a get let's have one clients come from reading articles increases the um, turnover by 2% at a cost of 1%. Ad role remarketing increases by 15% at a cost of 6%. And we've got many, many, I think there's 92 different either increases in turnover or decreases in costs. Go down to the bottom. You can see all the different ones. That's sort of year one, and this is going into year two. All of these 92 different things that will happen to improve matters. It says saves on hospitality staff, say 5% there. Um, it's a bit complex remembering exactly what this is. This is sorry. This is the normalised profits. How um, one would expect to increase profits each year due to the system, going from one million being the uh, previous 2015 profit, going 1.25 for being very cautious for the first year, 2.7 million for the second year, 4.2 for the third year. Normalised profits, nine million. Right. Okay. There's a whole video on this, so feel free to watch it, and I advise that you do. Let's have a look now at this specific video. We're looking at all those points again, but we're looking at the costs involved. And we've got different cost centers. We've got the senior programmers, of which currently we have one Zen certified programmer, and uh, we'd be looking to increase this number to three. So we'd have three certified programmers systems designer that is actually myself and at some point someone may take over that but that's really would have to be within an investment plan and a bunch of system architects um, so for, the, for what we've done here is we've done a realistic thing of what we can actually achieve mm, you know there's been different talk of how long this is going to be um, first of all it was five years and then we thought we can get it down to two years now I'm thinking, no, this is more like three, three and a half years. Um, there's <clears throat> Obviously, you hire more programmers, things will, will go faster, but they could go wrong. And at the moment, I'm handling every single part of it because I know exactly what it does and why it does it and what it, um, how it can affect other systems. It's very difficult to teach someone that who didn't, um, have a background in at least travel. Um, anyway, the, the the point of it is, you know, I can't just go and hire ten programmers because I would have no time to work with each one. I could potentially hire three and uh, stick with the um, the current junior programmers that I've got. Anyway, I'm getting getting. The the, the point is, this is a realistic plan. Two more. Zen certified programmers, myself, system architect, system designer, and project manager. Myself as graphic designer in Photoshop, basically a lot of the stuff that you see is myself drawing it in Photoshop, sending it to the HTML and HTML5 designer, who then knocks it up into HTML or HTML5, and then it goes back to the Zen certified programmer to do the PHP. We have an additional um, two programmers, not Zen certi certified, and um, we're working on the principle for the uh, the, the non-senior people. When we say one day, that's two days. I that the, the amount the, the salary cost is half, or the uh, the agency cost is half. Same for magazine and bloggers. Agency cost is half, as you see, two days. Um, and there's other. And that's Nick Ray, myself, doing things that are not system architect or not designer. And there's other things here, such as photographers and cameramen. 
um, everywhere. Most significant points have a comment. Right, this adds up to this. What we're doing, as in we've seen in the last video, let's just go back to it, this one here, Strategic Growth Plan for Cape Town Archery Villas, and read the section two. Okay, uh, we're working at a agency rate of 900 rands, which is reasonable. Um, I spoke to an agency in South Africa who were capable of doing this sort of thing, and that's what they quoted for senior um, programmers overseen. Um, and so I, the junior of these, this would be 450 rands. This would be nine, uh, 900 rand, 900 rand, 900 rand. Uh, 900 rands is basically 41 pounds an hour. Okay, or $58 an hour. And if the currency changes, we can just do that up here and it'll sort it all out. Okay, so that's what we're working on, 41 pounds an hour, or for the uh, junior programmers, 21 or 20.5, and the copywriter, 20.5 uh, pounds an hour. Right, let's get to it. Oh, over here we can see uh, subscriptions. Any subscriptions that we need, they'll probably they'll. Chances are, with the programming and the subscriptions, there'll probably be more. Um, experience has led me to show that uh, when one plans something like this, one should really double the length of time you expect it to take. Due to not because people are slow, it's just I come up with new ideas on the way uh, that haven't been thought of, and we've got to program them. Uh, what this means is for anybody who's looked at these advantages here, 25% advantage to having a WordPress blog, um, or what's this one? 33% advantage from the live chat. All these advance advantages, there's going to be more of them. We're going to think of new, new things that are going to work within the WordPress blog site and create a new income stream or a new saving. That's why it takes longer because we think of new things. Okay, let's get down to specifics. Um, okay, pages, footer and email, Aster memberships. This is a very simple one. Um, one day for the programmer to do the, uh, the, the, the programming in the footer. Um, one day for me to do the design, one day for the designer to mark it up. Another day for me to just organize it, contact Asta, do the research into that. So that adds up to four days. And that is 3,600 rands or $230. Okay, ad roll remarketing. Again, this is very simple, but it's, um, you know, sometimes the simplest thing is the most effective. Um, certified programmer, third of a day. Myself, two days doing the designs. Myself, one day doing research into the ad roll and other companies like Google in the, in the past. Okay, local SEO, half a day for the senior programmer. Four days for me doing the local SEO. Not going to tell you how I do it, but uh, just say that'll definitely be worth it. It's these. This is ongoing. This is done, and this is done. We just need to put it online. Online. The WordPress blog site is at the moment there is one on Cape Town Luxury Villas. Let's see. I think it still has the Villa Secrets logo on it. Yeah, we've got to change that. But in fact, what we're going to do is we're we're going to um, we're going to re probably reload all of the Villa Secrets blogs onto Cape Town Luxury Villas. We did hit this here with the first four villas. These were the sorry the first six villas, and I think there was got a little bit of a problem there. Anyway, 
these were ones that we just copied. We just copied the entire blog site from Villa Secrets to Cape Town Luxury Villas. And we're probably going to do that again because Villa Secrets now has 30 or 40 blogs. And these blogs are good for um, to show clients if for, not, if, if for no other reason. They're a better way to show a client. If you send this to a client, I don't know why it's so slow. Shouldn't be, but I guess we got a little problem today. In your own time, Pentagon Villa, Cape Town. Yeah, I have generally got a problem with the internet, even though the computer is brand new. Okay, this is how we see the. Um, this is a much nicer. You can present this to a client, and it's well in. You know, well and above the normal page that one would get to see. And as we go down, you see the pictures and an article. And there's a little middle section. It's, it's nice. Nice looking blogs. So we're going to be not really working on the Cape Town Luxury Villas blog site f until we've uh, got the. Villa Secrets blog site exactly as we like it. Then we're going to copy the whole thing. You don't lose anything from copying the whole thing. Um, you just don't gain anything. It will decrease the power that it has given to Villa Secrets a little bit. And it'll do very little for Cape Town Luxury Villas in terms of search engines. However, if the, each blog is sort of one is put each day and at least the uh, header is changed and their title um, you're not going to get in any any fines or anything. Um, I think what we're looking at here is the time we've spent on making that blog. Six days for the programmer, nine days for me designing it, not not physically designing it, working out how we wanted it. Um, three days in Photoshop, 12 days in HTML5, well, actually WordPress programming. Um, that's our junior programmer, and so that says it says there 15, but it's actually 30 because if you see up here, that's for two days. So all of these are halved, and um, between the programmer and the copywriter, they spent a few good few months now working on this solidly, and they're going to be spending another month working solidly after this. Okay. We've got something here on the second line. What is this? Improved search engine from guest blogging. Okay, that's um, that's me using Pitchbox. Fine. The idea is for Villa Secrets and for Cape Town Luxury Villas, the blog will be a blog, and it's okay. You know, it looks good, etc., etc. But there's also going to be a magazine page, which has the best of the blogs, which has the uh, owners of the villas or the safaris have seen our original blogs. They've said, oh, we like this, but could you make a few adjustments? And we've asked them various questions and they've um, they've come back. So it's it's a blog and we can say yes. And this has been approved by the uh, owners, etc. So they, we may even ask them to link to it, you know, whether they do or not. We don't know, but that's going to be quite a special magazine style blog. Um, not even a blog. We're not even doing it as a blog. We're doing it as basically as you see with these effects and this sort of style, but um, you don't have this stuff at the top. You see all this stuff at the top? Gets in the way of it. Okay, so that's what's, that's, once we've got those beautiful blogs in the magazine section, then use Pitchbox right to all of the um, blogs, the luxury blogs of the world, all the luxury hotels who have blogs, anyone that's got a high domain rank, and that's from Moz, M-O-Z, or a high um, majestic SEO trust and power rating. And um, we write to them, we say, can we guest blog for you? Look at this. Here's our blog. Here's our magazine style blogs. We're going to do one of these magazine style blogs. That uh, And also, I, I, I will work on each one myself, uh, making sure that you know, doing the initial sketch of how it's going to be written. So anyway, it's actually, you know, it's more than it's going to take me more than ten days. I'm just 
going to change that to 15. Um, just in case you're wondering what this is over here, this is exactly the same thing in dollars. So we've got everything in Rand and everything in dollars. Okay, I'm just looking for other things. What's this? Two hours increase social network inquiries. That is attaching, making the Cape Town Luxury Villas blog. Um, also post to about about 16 or 20 social networks once off okay and you can see here we're adding it up and that's for the whole blog section thirty four thousand thirty four thousand dollars yeah I mean it's it's a lot for a blog but it's not really a blog is it it's a it's a magazine um, and supporting blog so you know Everybody says blogging and content marketing is the future. Why not put some money behind it? Okay, what have we got next? Mobile site as of 3rd of March. So this is what we've got already. And that's 70 hours of um, our senior developer into that. 15 hours of myself and 4 hours of my 15 hours of myself, myself doing little sketches and things, working out the best way to... Uh, create the mobile site. It's a completely different site to the, uh, the, the, the site you'll see on desktop. Um, like an app, basically, but you don't need to um, load, download the app. Okay, four hours for me designing it. A couple of other hours, a couple of other days, sorry, doing other bits and bobs, mainly research. We had to work out what was the best platform? jQuery Mobile. Okay, um, as of the next update, so sorry, let's just quickly go back to um, VS Mobile. Here we can see on the left what we've got. Here's on the right. So we're doing the top slider like this. So it starts like this, goes like this. And we're adding VS Magazine that's going to go to the Villa Secrets Magazine or CTLV Magazine. Which goes to the CTFA. Remember, the magazine is the sort of Uber version of the blog. Okay, and that's going to take 20 hours for the senior developer. It's going to take me five hours of doing things like what I did here, drawing these graphics. Um, sorry, that's more. That's um, that's not drawing the graphics. It's only a day to draw the graphics. Five, five, five days is is the amount of time fought about what to do. Okay, uh, four days for the HTML designer. Okay, so we're getting it now. We, you know, pretty simple stuff. There's no uh, cost for villa mandates. Magic menus. This is what we've done so far. These are the hours. And so we, you know, we're about just over halfway. Forty thousand dollars for the whole thing. Uh, it's including the uh, XML sitemap, of course. Remember magic menus. This page here. Sorry, that's magic keywords. Here we go, magic menus, and this little diagram is so because a part of the way we uh, drop in new villas is it's sort of matrixy it starts at the top and they go into position and after a certain time they drop down the page it's it's quite fun okay um also involved in this is what we call cms logic and that is the idea of instead of giving a programmer tons of uh, little ideas to do you make each idea into its own CMS page and Magic Menus currently has about 12 pages of CMS content management suites. You know, you normally have one content management suite for um, employees to uh, upload stuff. This has all sorts of content management. Suites. It connects with Google Analytics. It connects with Moz. It connects with all sorts of things. Okay. Divergent CRM. Okay, this is the uh, we've now come from the areas that we are 
currently developing into the area we're going to start developing and this is you know this is massive it's not just the crm it's the crm that holds it all together um okay hubspot api first thing you know this is all still not necessarily the way we're going to do it this is our best best view at the moment um i'm thinking of doing the hubspot api with the junior programmers 40 hours of various cms pages um 10 at 10 sorry that's 20 days but it's it's 40 because it's two for one Let's keep saying hours when i mean days so this is 20 days 40 days for the um junior programmer 10 days for me a little bit of time for design however the salesforce api is a totally different animal because it has so many different parts to it particularly in reporting up the chain to um, sales managers etc um, that's a job for the senior programmer and it's you know 55 at 55 days work we're not going to do all of that in the first edition we're going to connect to it and make sure it is in sync with our own crm quite a long time for me a bit of design and we got 30 here what is this for learning the system yeah that's it before going into uh, creating a api with salesforce i have to learn salesforce in all its you know get the most out of it and, and the way i do that is simply by using it next week once the um sorry and we're on the the fifth of the third at the moment uh, next week we'll start i'll start using salesforce for all my communications and i'll just learn as i go along right okay fix outlook problem now this could be 19 days it could be 190 because both salesforce and hubspot and it looks like even microsoft dynamics do not have the emails that come back to you in work office automatically put into the uh the crm which is crazy you know well, we're thinking along the lines of making our crm which connects to hubspot which connects to salesforce um an email client so all emails come in to it and by using a code when sending an email out at the beginning of the subject bar hoping people don't delete it if someone returns that email we'll find out from the, the code at the beginning of the subject bar and then that will be connected to the person's ongoing conversation which is really important for um for a lot of things there's a possibility we might be able to do it a simpler way using HubSpot's sidekick, but um, we don't know. Anyway, that's quite a long time for me to work that out, if it can be worked out. Right, create Villa Secrets CRM. Now, this is uh, basically creating the, the system within that works for us now. Um, this could actually be first before these are done. In fact, it likely would be first. This is actually in the wrong order. Sorry. Let's have a look what we've got here. Create tutorials. Yep, got to create a lot of tutorials for the CRM. Yeah, this is for us to um, create our own CRM. And uh, there's quite a lot of CMS logic pages we can see here. A bit of oversight. And we're going to design it well. Got uh, 10 days of designer, three days of uh, graphic designer. Okay, what else have we got here? Increased mandates. That's creating a specific version of the CRM for working to with owners about signing mandates. So there'll be a lot of uh, text on how to do that. There'll be some automation. You know, it's uh, it's something that's an extra. And okay, this is this is expensive. This CRM, hundred eighteen thousand dollars. Okay, and no, no, I'm not saying that in this. Just before we leave, in this fifty-five hours, we're going to accomplish everything in Salesforce being connected to us, so we can do it ourselves or integrate with them if we need. We're just saying that that's that's probably enough to get 
the bulk of the stuff that we really need done. Um, you know, after the one can always go 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 better, and quite possibly some of the stuff that we might would like to um, connect to from Salesforce might be better off just doing it ourselves. Um, in which case, this cost here goes up a lot. So, okay, inquiry system. That is, uh, this is just doing it on um, on the actual website, so the inquiry system is better. Everything needs to be uh, of value. At the moment, people are just writing stuff in. It's not uh, doing much. We need to have a free phase inquiry system, one that just gets the email, the phone number, and the name, and the location of the um, client. Once that, and it will just say two, one, two pages and people won't feel too bad about two pages, so they put in their details for one. Once they put in their details, it's okay if they don't follow the next part because we've already got their details and we can go back to them and say, look, what's going on? Uh, but the second part would then be to, by date, put in the dates you want, put in a definitive price, put in a definitive location, and potentially um, put some favorites into it. Um, and actually, that's going to take a little bit longer. Okay. Owners automatically contact owners for prices. Seven days for the senior. Five days project management. A bit of design. And that's uh, making a system that automatically sends an email to all the owners who are in the search of Villa Secrets uh, who, are, who do not have online booking. And so, you know, if someone wanted to inquire for Camps Bay, five bedrooms with a budget of $800 a day, no, sorry, yeah, maybe something like that. And it'll be for 10 days, and that'll send to automatically send to about 40 or 50 owners who have the option to just click, yes, I'll, t yes, I'll take it. And um, that immediately updates the client suite and the guests that that villa is available. Or, and you know, people, they, owners can change their prices. There's quite a lot to it, but this is working on the prints we've already built the CRM. So, a lot of the functionality we need to do is already there. Um, and this is much the same thing, but offering deals to owners. They can uh, look at our entire set of inquiries that are ongoing and say hey i i'll uh, put a deal in there i'll i'll put a price i'll beat such and such's price and um you know that just keeps the pr the process going okay relatively cheap to do all that but of course again it's because this divergent crm has already been created okay newsletter to um, clients during the uh, inquiry process and after they have um, left the, the uh, <laughs> after they have um, finished their holiday um, just remarketing plus um, a newsletter specifically for villa rental companies and agencies uh, to try and get more mandates and a system for capturing email addresses quicker i.e. when once one's on the site for about 10 pages a little thing will drop down saying you can have a bottle of champagne or some jewelry if you give us your email address and phone number um, and other ones are for instance villas that we use their name for who um, we need to uh, we need to give an incentive because if we if we use the exact same name for, uh, for 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 the top villas many people will just google it and go straight to the venue thinking they'll get it cheaper so when we have villas that have um uh, names pro uh, product names not uh, popular names not our own names uh, we want to put a drop down there saying you can get 15 to 20 percent off if you inquire directly with the owner giving them a code and they go with this little code saying i've got this villa secrets one two three and the uh, owner says yes okay you can have this villa at 20 percent off 
that's actually going to take a little bit more time than I've put down here. Uh, let's change that to four, two, one, and two. Okay, what's this comment here? Oh yeah, yeah, got to write to Moe and some other people trying to get a bulk deal on gifts or even free gifts. Okay, client and owner's content management suites. This is very important. That's the times involved. Um, the content management suite for the owners is so as we can send them, please update your prices. They click update the prices. They go into their content management suite. They can update their, their prices. They also can see all the other attributes. And um, in general, they'll update their, their own um, their own information uh, and for um, here we've got enhanced product that's us basically creating a, a, a CMS page that um, shows where's the uh, where's the video no 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 oh, I can't find it here we go no oh. Ah, here we go. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, we're going to be doing this, creating this as a standard page. So we've got to make this HTML. This is done in WordPress at the moment. That's why um, we can't just immediately do it. What we've got to do, we've got to take the best bits from WordPress and introduce that, like that big swinging thing. And, uh, you know, better pages better it is okay Google Analytics um, so we can see um, where the client has been before he got to the inquiry stage and uh, using the same information for both the staff the sales staff who can you know, see which pages the clients looked at. See if the clients, you know, seen been back a few times, and then um, sorry, one second. Hi, sorry about that. Just had to pause. I think we were here, Google Analytics, and um, what we're doing here is making sure that once the um, if the client makes a inquiry we can see where they've come from what search words they've used what what sites have they t what pages on the site have they seen have they seen the blog page have they seen individual pages and this helps to uh, make sales one can be more confident with someone who's been a lot more times on the site than one can who someone who's just been there for, for a little while um, it of course also helps marketing if we for instance see that a particular keyword is always converting and other keywords are not converting we can lower the non-conversion costs and increase the conversion costs okay live chat and we're thinking five days for a senior programmer because it's not that complicated live chat a um, little while for me to think about it savings in hospitality staff due to the live chat is something that needs uh, specific pages built specific holiday hospitality pages concierge pages etc etc all connected to the live chat okay xml property management system connections add 200 luxury apartments from knightsbridge we think that'll take about 14 senior programmer days and about five days of my time some junior time as well and adding the razor 
sorry, not the Razor, the people who made Razor, Knox Rentals, for their um, fitters to our system. I think it will take that long. Okay, and that was sort of considered for the first year. And what are the prices? What are we looking at? Five and a half million rands, three hundred forty-six thousand dollars is what um, a well-priced but quality development company would charge to do that. Okay, this section here on the left is from the previous video on the spreadsheet. Okay, and we get back to the second year, and we're now at more XML connections. One with home away. It's going to take a little while. And others is potentially Airbnb and um, other, other sources, uh, potentially Cape Portfolios, making connections with smaller. Um, uh, I We need to make a dedicated connection for the availability for Ezard House. Sorry, Edelman House all takes time and um, as well it takes a lot of time to research find the marketing deals finding and making the deals a long time you know each individual proposal probably needs its own video lots of proposals okay that said, I think that's a little bit high. I'm going to take that down to 25. What's this here? Making the deals, making the deal with HomeAway. That could take 20 days. That really could. Okay, booking system. There is a wealth of information in the 2015 business plan about the villa. Um, Villas, Villa Cloud, VillasCloud.com. Sorry, uh, and that's the the booking system. The basic version for Villa Secrets wouldn't take that long to do. Villas Tech, creating the property management systems. Now this is, if we look at really good systems like Kigo, they've got really awesome. Um, pages for the owners that have got nice graphs and this that and the other and you know this is what this is for um, and I think creating a property management system that's basically creating the property management system proper um, luxuryvillas.pro is an addition to it's a marketing platform for owners basically um, Villa Specialist is a system for Villa agencies and individual owners. Magic Prices is a system that we've, we're halfway through that um, makes it really easy for owners to price their villas. They put in one price and it works out everything for all the different times and changes every year depending on what times holidays are, etc. Distribution channels. Well, this is complex. Um, <coughs> getting um, the Villas Cloud to connect to different distribution systems. I mean, there's 60, 70, 80 different channels that one can potentially use. You know, you're not going to do that in 49 hours, but in 49 hours, you might, 49 days, sorry, you might get. Uh, you know, 75% of the world's distributions channels, like um, Booking.com, for instance, Villas.com. Right, okay, that's Booking Systems done, and that's an expensive one. 1.7 million rands, or $115,000. I mean, if you went to a, an existing booking system that was any good, and you said to them, could you build your booking system for $115,000? They'd say, no, <laughs> it costs a lot more. But, um, you know, we, we, we program at a, because we do it for ourselves, we can do it a lot quicker and a lot cheaper and a lot more, uh, 
with a lot more logic to it. Okay, financial system, another big one. Um, creating the creating it via a spreadsheet system, whereas we download spreadsheets from the various franchises and upload them into the financial system, and then things uh, everything gets allocated allocated to um, you know if, if you've got a payment to the owner X and the payment comes in it's got the correct um, code in the subject bar then that automatically gets put that that payment automatically gets put with the um, with the sale so as it's then notified to whoever's doing banking to do that banking transfer once that transfer is done that that comes that's that's noticed and it all updates so it's really everything all the finances can be um, can be done via this spreadsheet system and we're looking at the junior programmer to, to do a lot of this um, a lot of time for myself working with him and so there's some senior time as well to create to create the system if we wanted to do it connecting to instead of the spreadsheet system a financial tech system like barclays.net or there's a few we, that's that's some senior development hours that's not this is just building our own system using spreadsheets this is working with other systems so as i.e. the uh, financial payments can be automated as well you don't only get the payments put in a folder for you know put in a, a a list for someone to pay it automatically gets paid a uh, system made specifically for year-end tax returns and VAT returns wouldn't take long once we've set it up and a nice system for showing management accounts and with you know various little graphs and this that and the other okay so the financial system as a whole 1.4 million rands 1.5 million rands just under ninety five thousand dollars and you try and find a bank anywhere <laughs> or any financial system that can be made for ninety five thousand dollars that works perfectly okay marketing platform Salesforce and let's have a look at what we're talking about here uh, here it is okay this uh, email marketing they say 280 but I've spoken to them and they said look if you haven't got a thousand pounds a month to spend on this it's not not worth it and this is for sending millions of emails every week or every month uh, okay there's social media marketing 800 there's digital advertising 1250 there's b2b marketing automation and there's some other things as well that are not on this page and um, so we're, we're, we're working on 36 hours 36 days why do I keep saying hours sorry about that 36 days to uh, to get all that into our system so as uh, we can look at the data and the idea is some of the uh, franchises we create will be Salesforce franchises using the Salesforce software and the Salesforce marketing others will be HubSpot um, and in those ones we'll use the HubSpot CRM and the HubSpot marketing this enterprise one and we'll see what what's best and you know maybe bits are best from one and bits are best from the other and we end up making a final you know best of the best and here's Marketo Dot com as well we're not actually sure the price is here but we know how you know how long it will take to connect it to our system so we can pull all the data out basically from the API and just notice here if this is where we get a lot of the costs the monthly costs so that's uh, thirteen thousand pounds thirteen thousand dollars a month just in licensing once you've got the license you can use it for all the franchises but uh, you know it is a cost and you know we won't be doing this all at once this you know maybe we'll do a third of the Salesforce stuff half of the market HubSpot 
And yeah, and as I said, different different franchises will use different marketing systems or use a combination of marketing systems. Expensive as well, one point two million eighty thousand dollars to create the integrate the marketing systems from Hub Salesforce and Marketo into the Villa Secrets framework, which can be accessed by any franchise and Cape Town Luxury Villas. Okay, content marketing connections to blogs and websites. Okay. This is just time spent working on how to uh, get our our content from our blogs into other blogs and onto other websites. Now, you know, we've got to make the content and I've got to spend time um, working out <coughs> who, who, who we can work with here. I think inside of these hours, we're including time spent uploading into free um, directors such as I think Jade, I think is one of the best free ones. Shall I have a look? Have a quick look. Content marketing, pay for directories, free directories. Yeah, Jade. Yeah, this one's free, but it takes time. It takes time to put it in. Okay. And obviously, you know, we're really looking for a selection of about 20 or 30 quality places that we can syndicate each blog to, be it using auto updaters or manually doing it. Okay, I'm going to take a little break now. Back in a while. Okay, marketing and media increasing the auto updates from Cape Town Luxury Villas from 16 to 100. That's basically probably about 15 Facebook business pages, 15 LinkedIn business pages of various people that uh, one knows putting them on their sites. That's 25, 50 days for a um, junior programmer. Video creation of videos. Little while. This isn't a lot to do programming wise, but there's an awful lot for the cameraman and editor. And that's a full time cameraman and a full time editor making videos all the time. And that's 150 hours in there, days in there. So. <coughs> What do we got here? On magazine online. We're creating the online version first. We spoke about it a little bit earlier. Six days of programming, six days of system architecture, eight days of graphic design, sixteen days of putting that graphic design into HTML5. A little bit of work for the junior programmer. Quite a lot of work. That's sixty days for the magazine copywriter. And here's an other field. What is this one? 35 days copywriting research and recruiting villas and researching advertisers. So there's a lot to do for the online edition. This is all building up to the printed version, but will look very nice on all websites. Remember the the, 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 it's basically a blog site in the way that we have done our blog sites before. However, it uh, doesn't have the, the blog stuff at the top of the pages and <coughs> it only uses properties that we have shown the original blog material to the, uh, the, the venue owner and they have come back with their comments and the final magazine page that we do is approved by the owners and contributed to if they want. Uh, and obviously, you know, the 150 hours of photographer and cameraman adds to creating new photographs for each of the uh, the venues. Print online, taking it a stage further. Uh, 
uh, following on from our 2009 version of Cape Villas magazine, distributed 30,000 of those, mostly with Condé Nast Traveller, had Bulgari come to us, offering us 100,000 in barter to be in the next one. Um, what we're having to do, what I want to do is, is make it automated, as in we don't make it all in InDesign or the, we actually made the last one in Photoshop. We we do it. We 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 make a system so as it goes on online, and we can print out PDFs, which get sent to the printer. Um, quite a lot of graphic design for me. Quite a lot for the designer. An awful lot of uh, copywriting time, and this is um, you know this isn't necessarily the copywriter one from from that we have as the magazine uh, as we're looking at many different locations we'll be looking for copywriters in the area of the um that we're looking at if we're looking at bali we'll be looking for a copywriter in bali and paying them accordingly forty hours sorry let's just take that down forty days sorry in copywriting research recruiting villas and recruiting advertisers and 60 days of photographers and cameraman travel that's their travel budget to go there or we we, we hire locals which would be probably more likely but you know they're going to charge more than 40 pounds an hour probably so uh there's 100 hours there how does the magazine improve things for cape town luxury villas because it's a villa secrets magazine villa secrets doesn't rent villas it doesn't take mandates. All it does is provide great hospitality and great marketing and great systems. So, you know, no one's going to go to Villa Secrets and buy a rent a villa. If they do, when they put the inquiry for Villa Secrets, it won't be answered by Villa Secrets. It'll be answered by one of the Villa Secrets franchises. Um, and in general, the brand awareness of the name Villa Secrets. Um, you know, Cape Town Luxury Villas has the logo at the bottom. It's a, it's a part of the group. Okay. Villa Secrets brand awareness is what we're talking about more now. Videos and magazines improve the Villa Secrets network. Uh, international expansion APIs. That's connections to property mansions, property management systems. Um, there's two in Bali we want to connect to. There's one in Hawaii, 36 hours, nowhere near enough, probably. Let's, see, let's make that more, 45. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of senior programming time in, to, in that. What's this other? Making the deals, yeah. I mean, <coughs> we've already spent weeks I'm creating a proposal for vacation routes that didn't get us very far. Uh, we're waiting for the new look Villa Secrets, and then we're going to propose again. But it's not, it's not, you don't just make these deals. And also, you've got to improve the deal, try and get the best STO you can. So, standard tour operator rate, that's basically the discount. You know, if someone gives us a discount of 10%, that's a, you know, if it's for really luxurious properties in St. Bart's, you know, it's, it's it's worth it. But if we can get a discount more like 20% or 15, that's better. All this needs to be negotiated. And that's what that figure is there. International expansion other. Ah, okay. That's just expanding the Villa Secrets website. And remember, what we're talking about here is increasing the brand awareness of Villa Secrets, which by extension helps all the Villa Secrets franchises or members. Um, you know, we, we're going to have to recreate the NAV to, to work internationally, and that's going to take some time. I mean, gosh, the navigation we're working on at the moment just for Cape Town's taken 40 days, senior developer. Um, we're hoping when we go international, it's not going to take as long take a long time of project management as well and there's the copywriting 200 days 
of the copywriting just for the international um, websites. For instance, um, Isla Blue, who are very, very strong in St. Martin, at uh, in St. Bart's and other lo other Caribbean places, they they're happy for us to. Well, they're not happy for us to. They discuss the possibility of us using their API. No one's used it before. It's new to them. Um, and one of their conditions was every single villa that they present, we had to do a, a rewrite of the copy. So that's, you know, that's what that costs. It's expensive international development. You know, $1.8 million, $117,000. Okay, getting back to things that are specific for Cape Town Luxury Villas or any franchise or member. Analytics. We already have Google Analytics, but this is KISS, Kiss Metrics. And there's a cost there of $700 a month. Uh, I think we've got them up here. Let's have a look. Here, yeah, this is this one. I don't know, we may have to use the Pro. Um, depends on how many events we're using. Depends how big the network is. The, the bigger it gets, the, the more it's going to cost us. But um, what Kismetrius does is it tells us you know, we we got a little bit of information of where the client has been from Google Analytics, it's particularly with AdWords, but um, to find out a really nice tracker of uh, all the pages they've been on the website, how many times they've come uh, for you know for months at a time, months, then you need Kissmetrics. Kissmetrics also improves cold calling because we can tell when a client is on our website and if that client's been on the website enough times for us to think yes they're genuinely interested and they've already given their phone number because they uh, filled in the thing with a free bottle of champagne then this sends a signal to the a, a senior salesperson that this person is currently looking at the website and we should phone them um, you see, it's quite a big difference that makes to uh, turnover, 10% turnover increase, one of the largest increases of turnover there are. Incre improved marketing, because again, we can see what's working and what's not working. Analytics for social networks. Now, there's a lot of different social networks, and they've all got their own versions. So that's a lot of time spent on that. Um, each version needs its own page made, etc., etc. What do we got here? Social network employee, someone who just works on the social networks, getting them more popular. Hotjar improves SEO and analytics improve website flow. Okay, total of 1.3 million rands, $85,000. That's a lot to spend on analytics. Okay, Siedabot, the AI, my favorite thing. Um, what happens is when a client immediately in inquires, Siedabot automatically sends lots of emails to owners and lets the client know, I page one will be enter on the inquiry system, page one will be enter your personal details, very, very quick. When page two, a little bit slower because they've got to put it in the precise dates. And then it comes to page three, which says, thank you very much. Uh, we have some information to you immediately about your inquiry. And it'll say, you know, if the villa is available to book, they can book it. They want to put a provisional hold. And it'll show um, the uh, that maybe 40 emails have been sent out to owners. And it'll advise the client on the what the owners are saying, whether they will, are happy to give a price in the bill, and that, all that happens automatically. Talking to the uh, talking to the, uh, the the client, so as the client gets a lot of feedback all the time, and just becomes involved in the process. And if they're involved in the process, they'll stay with the villa rental company that's you know that they're that they're working with. Okay, uh, assists the client through the booking process. We just talked about that. Encourages repeat business. Um, yeah you know, by intelligently sending gifts to clients at uh, on their birthdays, to sending Christmas cards, etc., etc. Okay. 700,000 rands, 
Hospitality systems. And this is something we're probably mainly going to do ourselves. So there's there's a bit of work for the senior programmer. There's 60 days for the junior programmer. It's a lot of uh, CMS logic in here. And so again, CMS logic is instead of just making a page, we make about five pages that can all be used and you can change the values in it, which makes up that one page. So we can make very, very complex systems. Very, very simple. Very, very simply. Well, you know, sim sim simply, simply is possibly, you know, it's, it's just, it, it's possible doing it this way. Whereas without making lots of different systems, lots of different content management system pages, you could never get to the, the, the detail and you couldn't change the parameters. It would be a, a waste of time. Okay, so um, what do the hospitality systems do? Encourages customers, improves customer experience, therefore it encourages um, the clients to come back, saves money for, on hospitality staff, makes income from concierge bookings. And we can see here again, the development, and that's just, you know, 10 days of my time speaking to the various uh, people in concierge, what are the local things, shark diving, this, that, and the other, putting them all in the database and the Sienna bot will go and speak to them all on the owners, on the guests behalf or on the concierge agents, agents behalf. Okay, Experience Africa, this is a, a Safari website that we've been doing for many years, although we haven't really <laughs> got started yet. We've got it all planned out. Um, so it's still quite a bit of programming. Now, the what we're looking at here is the voting system. And, and this, we have actually started this, but um, we had to pause it. There's a system where all of the top um, Safari agents and all of the top magazines all have their own uh, rankings and we put them all into one system and come up with the best of the best. Create log logistics CRM. Now this is the most complex CRM content. Sorry, it's CMS that should be create. No, it's, yes it is, sorry, it is the CRM. Uh, this is the most complex, I'm actually gonna put a CRM and CMS. Okay, uh, this is complicated because each safari has so many animals <laughs> that you can see we want all that information. What time of year is it best to come? And most importantly, what are the excursions that the safari will book, can book on the guest's behalf? And what other transportations, what other, what are the you know, what are the 10 top safaris that one can get to from someone's safari? So if they wanted to go from Singita and Grumeti, where is near, where is convenient, um, where is easy to travel through? And we want these uh, safaris to each say which places are, are easy to travel through from them, which ones they can arrange. So when someone does the booking, one really simplifies it and you know that that's for instance if you look on a map at kruger park you might see a, a road that is about 10 miles long and at one end of it it's got one safari and at the bottom end it's got another safari and you think right okay it's going to take 10 minutes well <clears throat> sorry 20 minutes to drive but you don't know about the barriers there's barriers in place that they're fenced off one fence to another so you've got to go three or four miles around another route to get there you've got to avoid all of that okay that's the logistics and you know a lot of time on that created in uh, CMS logic as well APIs to Amadeus and other that's uh, Amadeus is probably the leading them and um, travel port who were Galileo um, hotel uh, GDS global distribution system it's take a little while to program that and that gives us um, all the hotels in Africa inst instant availability and, and discounts uh, makes money from Safari multi legs we haven't put something in there okay this experience Africa 1.3 million rands 
and eighty-five thousand dollars. Now, what does this do for Cape Town Luxury Villas or other Villa Secrets franchises? Is it gives the option of booking holidays if um, one wants to have a villa for a bit, uh, stay in Tanzania for a bit, and then go off to uh, Zanzibar. All of this can be booked, and you'll find these bookings will become bookings of around the hundred thousand commission mark. And you know, a hundred thousand commission mark is, is you know, that's the second or third best booking you'll get each year. If one can promote this, you know, through the blogs as well, by making blogs on safaris, one will get some people into safaris and also upselling anyone that's coming. If you've got someone who's coming for four days but they've got quite a good budget, think, well, has that have they are they all are they coming for four days or are they coming for two weeks and this is the only part of it? Show them the systems. Give the clients the systems to uh, to book for holidays, and they and they will. Okay, where are we now? Financial predictions from CRM. This is uh, extension to the management accounts and general sales overview, where we not only we 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 we, we make future predictions based on a various um, criteria. Most CRMs that I've seen sort of have one criteria that you sort of put in yourself. This, however, will have a likelihood of availability um, and it will have, the, the in general, how many book, bookings does this agent make? You know, if an agent has four bookings for every every sorry four inquiries for every booking you need to factor that in and it needs to you know as the sales go up the pipeline one needs you know different parameters for all of that so it's quite a complex little system okay that was 415,000 rounds tutorials gonna have to make them look well um, each tutorial really we want a video and a page for that video i.e. you can look at look it up and on that page it'll say what to do just very briefly and also there's a video of each little step and in addition to those videos there are um, video movies made up of the individual parts so it's what one, one can watch um, and that's you know there's a lot of time going going to go into this and then there's a hundred hours of you know myself or someone else narrating the videos quite often I suppose I will do it and you know we'll try and get a professional presenter to then redo the uh, re redo it making a a quick summary Okay, a lot of lot of money put towards that. One point two million rands. Lastly, is uh, wasn't shown before. It was something, not a new thing. It's actually an old thing. It's just we forgot to put it on, and that is uh, magic galleries. And that'll be a case of changing the pictures. So as when one first uploads pictures, one has an option of putting a name to it you can either write your own name to it or you can choose from garden bathroom view etc etc so that puts a keyword next to the um the the picture after that that we're we're, we're we're making each of those pictures have a different main title main keyword either i camps bay luxury villa or something you know a load of keywords but then we've got the uh the individual parts so it's the bathroom at and then we're basically making a photo library so as when one comes to one photo if it's of a kitchen and it's over uh, 1200 pixels wide one can search for other pictures that say kitchen so someone who's looking as a resource nothing to do with having a holiday comes along and they're like right okay on this website I've got you know 50 different beautiful shots of kitchens and you know there'll be a price probably for a, a license to use it um, or some will be free anyway making a um, 
<clears throat> making a, a deal out of the out of the galleries, out of the photographs we have, uh, and that increases traffic and increases the uh, the SEO. The how well we'll do in Google Organic. Okay, that comes to forty-four days' work. 270,000 rand, 17,000 dollars. Okay, so we are at the end of the section. Okay, so for senior Zen certified programmers, we're just going to do it in weeks now because it's easier to think of over a three year plan. Uh, 169 weeks. And if you've got three senior programmers, there's plenty of room there. System architecture, that's myself. Now, hmm, how do I put this? I don't work seven hours a day. I work about 12 hours a day and I don't have breaks. I don't have holidays. I don't have weekends. So I actually get to do probably 40, 50, maybe 60% more hours than this. So this 117 for me is more like 70 weeks. So that's well within the scope there. This here, the graphic design as well, that's also myself, 36 weeks. Again, because I work longer hours, that's more like 25. <clears throat> HTML designer, 77 weeks. Junior programmer, 183 weeks. Copywriter, 155 weeks. And we'll be having two, maybe three, eventually many, but uh, the moment we're just working on what we can afford to do, given that someone either buys the Cape Town Archery Villas website or someone takes a franchise on the Cape Town Villas website in a package deal and then they supply a certain amount of staff, which either which way means we can do this. However, I will point out the programming rule that really has very rarely failed us apart from the mobile website which we managed to do really really quickly is these things always take longer to do than you think this is a spec here and on this spec there's probably twice as much to do because there's new things to do it's not like you come across problems and something's taking longer of course that happens but that's not where the majority of the doubling up theory, i.e. the doubling up theory is, is not $1,400. It's actually probably double that. But for that, we double what we do. We, we think of new things to do. I can't think of any at the moment. We've got 92, sorry, now with the, now with the galleries, it's 93 different things that will increase turnover or decrease costs. By the time one's finished all this after three years, that'll probably be more like 200 different events that are specifically happening that we can assign a, 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 an increase in turnover or a decrease in cost to. Okay, so that's what it adds up to. And yes, you know, we can do this within a three year plan. And, you know, it'll probably take twice as long in hours, but we've accounted for that here. You see, we've got three programmers creating 169 hours. The three programmers, they, they, our programmers don't have holidays. <laughs> it's that no one has holidays at Villa Secrets. There's no such thing. They work 52 weeks a year. So it's 52, 152, 156 is one programmer for three years so you know if you've got three we're well you know even doubling up all of these hours we are i mean for me it's a little bit tight particularly as i've also got to concentrate on expanding the network internationally although we have accounted for that to a degree okay so there we go 22, 000, 22 million rands just under 1.5 million dollars in effect it's probably going to be double that However, we're going to probably have double the advantages. Albeit, they'll probably be, you know, we've hit the main ones on the head here. You know, we're probably looking at another 
100 advantages that are 1% each, 2% each. We won't be finding any more sudden 10% increases. Okay, and this is the subscriptions per month per year. The subscriptions, if we take all the ones that we've shown, is quarter of a million dollars a year. That's just for the subscriptions. And that just gets paid once by Villa Secret Franchise and then Villa Secret's limited corporate and then all of the franchises can use it. So this isn't a cost for the franchises. This is, this is the cost for the parent company, Villa Secrets. And look, in all honesty, working on the budget that we are working towards, you know, we may not be able to afford all of those per month at that time. Of course, if we get investment, it's not going to be a problem. But, you know, we're, we, we, we've learned our lesson with investment. Never, ever work on the fact that you're going to get investment. Work on what you can do. And this is what we can do. We might not be able to afford all the software, but it's that software's not going to make that much difference. You know, a lot of that was the marketing software. Where is it? Here. For Salesforce marketing. I mean, it's, it's a luxury. It's not an essential factor. I mean, what do we put in? You know, the marketing software, all the three combined, makes a 15% increase in turnover. I mean, you know, if one doesn't, takes that expense out let's just see what it looks like at the bottom if we take that out 130,000 a year okay i mean that's that's more that's more reasonable control Z. yeah okay so this is it cost of divergent crm and other software updates Thank you very much.